Here's a wild story about you and me. How did humans actually emerge? Let's rewind. Fast. Seven million years ago in Africa, an ape stood a little straighter. Not human yet, just testing the future. Millions of years pass. By four million years ago, small cousins like Australopithecus walk on two legs. Hands free, horizons open. Around 2.6 million years ago, aha moment, stone tools, sharp flakes, simple cuts, bigger meals. Brains start growing because cooking and cutting made calories easier. Two million years ago, Homo erectus. Longer legs, longer journeys. Fire joins the team. Night becomes a meeting place. Food gets softer, safer, smarter. Fast forward to 800,000 years ago. Groups get bigger. Cooperation matters. If you can plan, remember, gossip, you survive. Between 700,000 and 300,000 years ago, branches split. Neanderthals in Europe, Denisovans in Asia and in Africa, Homo sapiens begins. Us, not alone, just one of many humans. About 300,000 years ago, our species takes shape. Small bands, big landscapes. We leave Africa in waves, most recently around 60,000 to 70,000 years ago. Surprise, we meet other humans. We mix. Today, many people carry Neanderthal or Denisovan DNA. Family reunion you didn't know you had. Another aha, symbols, beads, pigments, carved lines. Humans start telling stories you can wear. Then cave art, music, burials. Culture becomes our superpower. 45,000 years ago, we reach almost everywhere. Inventions stack. Better tools, boats, needles, ice retreats, ideas spread. 12,000 years ago, farming. Plants and animals move in with us. Villages, then cities, then writing, then the internet in your pocket. Here's the twist. We didn't get here because we're the strongest. We got here because we learned together. We shared fire, food, and stories. We remembered what worked and passed it on. So when did humans emerge? Not in one moment, in a chain of aha moments, each one carried by people who looked at the world and said, what if? And now it's your turn in that chain. What's your next aha?